Hello everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt with My Photo Borders. We have a new design we just finished. This is a game day basketball version and uh, I want to go ahead and go over the template and show you guys how to use it. So let's get started. The first three layers at the top you see are the text layers in order to update the text. If you'll just double click on the T symbol on the left here, each one of these double click and you can replace the text. For the text box at the bottom to to update the text box, just double click in the lower right hand corner of this thumbnail. That will open the color picker and from here you can um, make the color whatever you want. And as you can see, you can also double click on the FX symbol and this will open up the layer style. From here you can also change the stroke. If you want to stroke color around the box, you can change that to whatever you like. By clicking on the effect symbol. So the main feature of this template is updating the logos on the basketball and so basically we have different folders left basketball right basketball so I'm gonna go ahead and show you here on the right basketball how to update it. So at the bottom here you will see where it says change right logo here if you'll double click on this uh, smart object thumbnail it's going to open up a new layer and so keep in mind that the smart objects only work in Adobe Photoshop they do not work in Adobe Elements, so you will need Adobe Photoshop software. So let's go ahead and hide this logo. And I have another logo open. We'll drag it over. All right. And when it comes in, your logo may come in small, may come in big, depending on the size and resolution of it. So we need to transform it to fit. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to do a control S, which is on the PC, is the save command. And then we'll come back and look at the template and see how it looks. Okay, so that looks pretty good right there. We'll leave it. So one other feature I want to show you about the basketballs is you can change the color of the ball. So let's say we want to try to match the logo. You can come down here where it says ball color. Double click on the um, color swatch there. And... From here, you can just pick a color. I'm going to sample this purple. There we go. And you can adjust here if you need to. All right, I'm going to go with that color. And then one other feature is you can change the scene color by double clicking. And you can see you can update those as well. So that's pretty much how the update is for the basketball as far as changing the logo and changing the ball colors. Um, one other feature is if you decide you want to print a yard sign, you can change the canvas size of this template. So it, the template is currently 24 by 16. If you want to do a yard sign, you'll need typically 24 by 18. So what you can do is come down here and um, on canvas size where, where it says 16, just change that to 18. And this will give you the correct format for a 24 by 18 yard sign. And one other feature is you can update the um, the blue color you see in the back over the stadium and just double click on the uh, color here. And if you want to change it, you can do that as well. So as far as the rest of the layers go, I would leave everything uh, just as you see it. Same thing as the basketballs. Um, if you notice, there's a lot of layers here included that, that says effect. So basically what these are is the uh, rendered layers that we render out when we're doing the 3D modeling of these basketballs. This is what gives it the, um, the glows and the shadows and the highlights that you see on the balls. Uh, so leave those alone, don't touch those. Um, basically the only thing you really need to change is the colors and the logo itself. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about the template, uh, feel free to shoot me an email uh, or you can reach me on Facebook as well. Thank you very much and have a great day.